Hello everyone. Welcome to the third day of the snowy day by Ezra Jack Keats. Let's remember the words that we learned. We learned about winter, which is a season that's the coldest season of the year. We can shiver and say burr, pretend like we're feeling those winter weather. All right, let's see, track. Track was the other word. It's when there's marks left in something like snow or somewhere on the ground that's left by animals or people or like wheels and such. We learned about heaping, which is when you have so much of something, it's almost overflowing. It's like a huge pile. My first question for you today is, what do you remember happens in this story? Does it snow? Does it rain? Or does Peter play with frogs? You're right, it snows. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran. Where did he go? Did he run inside or outside? He ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 crunch. His feet, his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. What landed on Peter's head? Snow, stick, or bird? It was snow. <laughs> oh goodness. Down fell the snow plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. What's happening on this page? Is Peter making snow angels or a snow fort? Yes, he's making snow angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks or shirt. His wet socks. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. What is Peter looking for? Wallet, crackers, or a snowball? His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. What do you think's happening on this page? You're right, the snow is falling. But when he woke up from his dream, it was gone. The snow was still everywhere. The snow was falling. It was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Now, I have a question for you. 
What do you like to do with your friends? Do you like to play games? Draw? Or maybe you like to do nothing. Me, I like to play games with my friends. That's one of my favorite things to do. I hope you all enjoyed today's read aloud. I can't wait to read it with you one more time. You have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, everyone.